Mr. Sunesh Sukumaran. He is an engineer graduate with a domain experience of around 24 years and a total of 17 years of association with GE and has been recognized as a senior expert in the GE technical community. His area of expertise is in the substation automation and protection, automation design and engineering, and product marketing. Presently, he is leading the growth application activities, new technology, product promotion, and training requirements for the region. Today, Mr. Sunish will give a brief overview on digital substation in India. I welcome you, Mr. Sunish. Thank you. This is a very brief presentation just to highlight the importance of digital substations because and uh, what are some 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 key benefits uh, means uh, when we migrate to this uh, it's, it cannot say it's a new technology but uh, adapting this uh, digital substation uh, going forward so of course uh, uh, we always talk about the three d's so one is the decarbonization decentralization digitalization so these are the three key drivers which is uh, shaping up uh, the energy landscape so one of the critical d is uh, digitization so Digitization opens up quite a lot of things, you know, like uh, availability of information in digitized form. So once it is available, then we can make use of this uh, information through the various process you know, in terms of monitoring, uh, estimations, performance monitoring. So so it opens up quite a big plethora of uh, area of where we can utilize this uh, digitized uh, information. And this, of course, make use of the latest communication technologies, particularly the Ethernet-based communication. Now, when we talk about the uh, digital substation uh, drivers, so mainly, you know, means uh, the customers talk about means how the digital substation can you know, benefit us. So, so one is that, you know, means uh, so they always, you know, means that people look at, look at the cost aspect, the first thing. So it may, may be a direct cost benefit or maybe indirect cost benefit. So one aspect is that, of course, uh, the footprint reduction in terms of uh, civil structure or maybe, you know, means uh, reduction in uh, trenches or maybe the control room sizes. So this is how we can, we can uh, look into how this can bring into the footprint reduction. Second aspect is that um, uh, safety. So always it's a nightmare to work in a like live substation for any kind of testing or maintenance part so when it when it comes to the digital substation this has become like you know means uh, kind of plug and play sort of things so even even we can do the testing from remote and no need to carry a big uh, testing equipment manpower to the equipment to be tested and the testing time and test, uh, the, the testing has become more easier and it's more safer as well because we are no more dealing with uh, the AC current and AC voltage at the con control uh, cubicle side. And third aspect, of course, uh, the situational awareness. So the, all the conventional metering or monitoring has been replaced by the digital measurements. So as I mentioned, like uh, since the informations are available on, on in digital format, so we can make use of this uh, digital information to do multiple uh, monitoring or asset management or wide area control or uh, complex measurements, making SIPs. A lot of uh, benefits uh, you know, once once the data is available on digital format. So this this uh, architecture you might have seen in different uh, format in last two presentations. So of course uh, here you can see that uh, from the switch yard the, the conventional uh, you know, means cabling has been replaced by the fiber optics. Switch yard side so this can be a smart equipment so it can be a digital CTVT or you know, the sensors which converts the analog value into digital value then then uh, we'll be having this uh, compact ieds in the control room control and protection room there you, you can you know no need to have uh, the, the conventional large size ieds where you have a lot of input outputs a lot of cabling is coming into the relay so we'll we'll see a, some picture of uh, this ieds in later slides so this this part is already there and the know means um, it's a conventional substitution the only difference is that from the switch yard says to the control room, the, the, the cable has been replaced by the you know, means fiber optic. And accordingly, the digitization happens at the process side itself. So that is a major difference. So otherwise, the rest all the things remain same. There is no uh, major difference. Of course, since since we are digitizing some of the information right from process side itself, we, we get you know, means uh, benefit out of that because it gives us more information in terms of our monitoring, supervision, situational awareness and all these things of the primary side, primary side or the cables. So this is a typical uh, uh, architecture. So, uh, so so you have seen that, you know, means uh, in one of the presentation like uh, improvements in terms of availability. So this is how, you know, means um, 
can see that so means one of the architects we proposed very recently for one of the project you can see that you know means uh, the, the process bus you know ring and the station bus ring different voltage levels and um, it's it's all redundant you can see that it's all redundant communication whether it is station bus or process bus so it's it's availability has improved earlier you know means uh, from the ct core the connection was coming to uh, the relay so it's a single connection so if so we we used to have main one main two so if one one whether it's a problem with the, the ct or the cable or the relay so then then we have the main two into with a different uh, protection algorithm or hardware so here maintain everything same but we improve the availability in terms of communication medium we so right from the sensor itself we can have uh, dual redundant communications communication fails you have the redundancy and if the complete thing fails again then only you can switch, you need to switch over to the the next one so here this you know means uh, these are the protection ieds this can access the sample values from these devices these are nothing but uh, you know the process interface unit or the merging unit so, so the latest of magnetic is a process interface unit Not, nothing but you know it's a combination of dados and uh, analog inputs and of course you know means uh, these are connected to the station bus lan and from there you have the normal uh, you know, means uh, operator stations and you know servers gateways and all these things and you can see this you know gps as well uh, so this is also a critical uh, equipment for the digital substitution because we are talking about the digitization of data from the you know ctpts so since the data coming from it can come from different uh, devices to the relays so for for example this particular relay can access the sample value from this device or maybe you know this device say for example if it's a bus bar protection okay so this this particular relay can access the sample from this device as well as from this so we need to ensure that these sample values are time aligned so in order to have this you know means uh, requirement so we used to have this uh, time synchronization again you know means um, when it comes to digital substitution uh, compared to the the normal irb or the sltp we need to have more accurate time signature source so generally we used to use this uh, uh, ieee 1588 based uh, uh, master clocks i'll brief you means the advantage of that in the one of the slide so this is uh, this is how a typical uh, process bus relay looks like so you can see that there is hardly no cabling so the the size of the relay is also almost half no cabling so all the cablings will be there in the you no know, means in the merging unit or the process interface units the benefit is that in the control room side hardly any any wiring wiring is reduced almost up to 90 percentage and lighter relays and you can have more relays in the one panel as well and show you some uh, photographs and the engineering is uh, reduced on the panel side so and of course labor as well so this is how you know means probably the time signal session uh, this is uh, this is okay not specific to digital substitution itself probably this is benefits beneficial for the normal conventional substitution as well when we talk about the time signalization generally we use either irb or sntp sntp of course it has got its own limitation with the accuracy so we used to talk about 5 millisecond or it can it can even more than more than that as well depending upon the uh, networks and you know its accuracy of the devices so when it comes to and in in case of irb you require multiple cablings you now means point to point cabling from the uh, master clock so when it comes to ieee 1588 uh, this is again a network based uh, time signalization protocol and this is more precise than sntp or even uh, irb and it is more uh, deterministic and you uh, know in, in terms of av availability you can see that it can have this uh, prp architecture and can have multiple sources as well. say for example in one substation itself you can have multiple sources and each source can have redundant uh, communication so in terms of availability so and accuracy it's much much better than uh, sntp or irp so this is why in digital substation the ptp is you know preferred over other uh, time synchronization methods and of course this can be uh, employed in in the normal conventional substitution as well because it's uh, not definitely Uh, useful and all the the latest relays are now uh, even the normal uh, conventional relays are uh, supported with i i triple e 1588 type uh, so of course you know means uh, when you talk about digital substitution so one aspect is that so one the sample values are available so you, you have this merging units for each base and once the sample values are available you know means in the network then you can have even say for example nowadays in in a sub transmission network 
so the, the concept is that the main and backup and then probably as for the new regulations it's a bus bar so instead of backup we can have a centralized protection so so this this can provide backup protection to all the you know, means uh, feeders so this kind of you know means uh, optimization or the adaptation of this uh, you know, process bus is also possible so this is how you know means uh, some of the benefit can give to the user when uh, we adopt to uh, you know, digital substations you can see that in normal conventional substation there are a lot of you know, bunch of cables you know coming from uh, various base and you know, full of cables in the trench and here you can see that in the digital substation so this is how it will be so the number of cables are reduced and even you can see that the number of terminations on the relay side is hardly uh, nothing and you can see a lot of termination on the relay side similarly you can see that you know means lot of cables coming from yard to here and you know means in terms of safety as well because we need to work on this ac voltage and current so even we take you know work on on maintenance shutdown or anything so we have to take proper precautions so whereas in digital substitution this kind of things is not that because we are just dealing with uh, fiber optics or internet cables so this is a typical you know means uh, digital substation uh, installation you can see here and uh, this this picture has been taken from one of the indian site so we, we put the kiosk for the for installing the merging units in the yard so you can see here this ip65 panel this was specifically asked by the customer so you can have ip55 as well to the other uh, yard uh, kiosks and here this uh, merging units or process interface units are mounted and you can have in the in the control room you can you can have this since there is no other equipments so you can have multiple feeders can be accommodated in single cubicle itself so here in this case it's a 110 kv panel with uh, two two sets of uh, means relays and for two base so, so each each panel for two base and this is how the trenches has been you know means reduced or eliminated so instead of trenches we are using uh, conduits so you can see that the number of cables has been drastically reduced this is how another way of optimization optimization so overall you know big, uh, smaller uh, yard kiosk okay means it's a big big yard kiosk we can have smaller ones and uh, reduction in panels in the control room and the trenches are replaced by conduits in the yard So overall, you know, means we can uh, reduce the civil footprint. So the typical case studies for for one of the uh, substations, globally uh, distributed, and uh, you can see that you know means uh, in in terms of footprint reduction, how it came because from the reduction in copper wires and reduction in uh, uh, means the panels because of the reduced size of the devices. Then of course the execution time. So we have seen that. So you can see that the engineering time, the testing activities are you know uh, it's reduced because. no need to carry your uh, testing equipment from you know means each parallel to the other parallel because in conventional substation uh, you have to uh, connect the testing equipment to one panel and you do the complete wiring test it move to the other device and then uh, repeat and then move to the next so it takes lot of time for testing so when it comes to digital substation the testing has been made very very easier because even uh, you can connect the testing equipment at a single point or you, even you can uh, do the testing from the remote itself this uh, drastically reduces the testing time and of course in terms of cabling because lot of cabling has been has been removed from control uh, yard to control uh, room so this also you know means helps to reduce the labor time and the third aspect is that in terms of fault diagnostics because very easy to diagnose the fault in case of any issues so compared to the conventional substation where any issue comes in, in terms of cabling it's very difficult to trace the or pinpoint the fault whereas when it comes to uh, digital substitution so the tracing is very easier because for the fiber optic or any other communication cable part the issue can be easily displayed over the screen itself because alarm will be given on the screen uh, like some itself so it's very easy to uh, trace the fault when it comes to digital substitution so it definitely helps to minimize the outage time or you know or even reduce the unplanned outage and of course um, when it comes to maintenance and operation so even the remote analysis was possible uh, so it can be done from the remote if required so this also eliminates lot of people of traveling the, from the central office to the sites many people so and diagnostic time can can also be reduced and of course it's um, environment friendly because we reduce a lot of copper civil and all these things so of course this helps to reduce the carbon footprint and of course you know means we cannot 
stop without cyber security because there's a lot of talk on cyber security nowadays the ministry of our ca and all these things so until uh, one or two years back people were not much bothered about the cyber security so now we are you know means depending upon the communication more and more for you know means uh, connecting various devices whether it is a process bus or station bus and further it is getting connected to the remote control center so the first thing is that of course the cyber security it's it's not it's not, not a feature it's it's a not kind of uh, one is that you know means uh, it's a kind of policy or you know means uh, the self discipline sort of thing so that that needs to be first we need to ensure it and second thing of course how do we engineer the substation so whether it's a conventional substation or digital substation it's um, very important that we engineer the substation considering that there is no loophole left for any hackers so that is why you know means uh, we, we should have difference in depth uh, philosophy when we do the engineering of the substation automation system so this is you know means you can see here multiple zoning uh, system like depending upon the criticality or the accessibility of the system so we need to have multiple uh, zonings and putting appropriate firewall and firewall, firewall policies so all the things are important so this needs to be done whether it is a normal conventional substation or digital substations and of course uh, there is a benefits in you know means as a summary so during engineering or construction phase so civil works copper cost cubicle you know cabling uh, schematic and testing time re- reduction and of course you know means uh, because of this there is a significant footprint reduction different uh, stages reduction in time course during you now means for particularly during fats and site or even maintenance time and during the you now means operation or maintenance stage uh, so first of all the availability is you know more compared to the conventional substation because we are ensuring uh, redundancy at all levels so the chances of failures are very very uh, remote unless otherwise there is a device failure so all the devices are you know designed according to the iec standards depending upon you know, the considering the harsh and known and all these things and all data are available at unique access point and can be accessed in real time in full uh, security so this this can be even do it from uh, remotely so you need to go to the site so you are even at a central point um maintenance inter- innovation not required people with different skills all analog testing tools are replaced by simple uh, laptops so again because we know that you know means uh, different skill sets uh, levels are required but of course when it comes to digital substation it's a different skill set for testing and troubleshooting and all these things but of course and the thing is that the testing will be made more easier um, in terms of reduction in time provided you know means appropriate skill sets are developed and of course you know monitoring more monitoring functions uh, on real time uh, diagnostics so this will helps to reduce the, the maintenance time improve the post uh, post fault analysis then of course you know means it all comes with uh, cyber security features so in simple if you talk if somebody asks what are the four four or three or four reasons so you can do you know execution faster particularly as you know mr rajesh uh, research mentioned renewable you know sector the total cycle time is very very less so this definitely helps to implement and uh, commission a substation very quickly useless so in terms of reduced uh, wiring or cable trenches fewer panels so this is a smarter way of building a digital substation it's all depends you know means you know since people are started seeing the benefits so people are looking at you know means how they can differently uh, design the uh, control room or the, the cubicles rather than one panel for main one one panel for main two considering the benefit of you know digital substitution these are the ways people are looking at how we can uh, do the optimization and of course operate better so better monitoring asset management fewer maintenance trips of course uh, it's improved uh, its availability so of course you know means uh, with uh, digital substitution we really unlock values so we, we get more features values are you know all the values are available uh, in digital format so it's really futuristic this is what we want to see here